Hey everybody, it's Mark again. Uh, today we're going to continue working on that uh, uh, Herbert Herr uh, musical cuckoo clock that was sold by the Welby Corporation. I will give you a heads up that we're not going to be able to fix it today and I will explain in the video why. But kick back, grab a cigarette, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Um, and hopefully we learn something today. So uh, let's get started. Now I already had the uh, movement in. And um, because we know it works. And I misplaced the bird wire that connects to the door. So I'm making a new one. So I was wanting to show you, the doors don't open all the way. If they open all the way, they have a hard time closing. So line it up to where it opens about three quarters of the way. And then that's where you'll know where to bend your wire. And... This is that shipping wire that he sent with the clock. So I'm just using it. Now I have wire that uh, for, for this that I got through Time Savers. But this works. It's about the same strength. Uh, so uh, I'm using it. I need to bend it down. And then I need to make sure that none of the wire is touching the base of the frame. So hopefully when it's done cuckooing, it will do its thing. It will sh shut. Opens. Remember I told you if it opens too far? Well, in this case, The uh, the music lever is getting in the way. So I need to um, I need to adjust it. And uh, I need to adjust this little wire that is catching the fan as I rotate the, uh, the music. There's this wire up here that is catching the fan. So I need to adjust it. I need to bend it so it goes up some. I get the proper tool to bend it with. There's where my homemade screwdriver comes in handy. And I'm still trying to figure this thing out. The, uh, 
Like I said, when I'm trying to figure it out, there's two different wires on this little man. And that's the part I'm trying to figure out. How does he go back inside? So I guess I need to pull the movement back out to figure that out. Because there's this copper wire that should be pulling him back inside. But it might be attached to the wrong thing. It might it might be a bent wrong. Let's see if I can get my screwdriver in here to put some pressure on it. And again, this is the reason why I bought this clock because it intrigues me. So, time to uh, take a movement back out. So stand by and let me take the movement back out. And again, I have to take the music box off first before I can take the uh, movement out. So I got the movement out and I see a hole up here. There might have been a wire on this hole, but on the cuckoo side of it, the cuckoo goes back, but you see how this wire that's coming off the cuckoo post goes over the top and then it's wrapped around this post well on this one it's going behind the post then wrapped around so it might require to be go on top of the post before it's wrapped around and so I'm gonna take it apart and go over the top of the post before I wrap it around because you'd be surprised what is required to get this thing to go back.
this wire is making him come out. Well, what makes him come out, I believe, is when you push on this lever here, which I already told you that's what I think this is for, to push on that lever. And so, to make him come back, I think, um, I think I have to reroute this wire to go in that hole. So stand by, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I took the wire off from down here, and I put it up here on this post, and wrapped it around this post. So now, when you see when the little man comes out, he goes back in. And so. I'm pretty sure. That this wire up here. Is so he only goes out so far. But I'm pretty sure that this wire down here. Is to make him come out. And so. I have to figure that part out. And that post was just sitting there, and so I don't know what else it would be for other than to wrap that wire around. But as you can see, he comes out when I push on this, and when I let go of it, he clearly goes back in. And when you're putting the, the bird wires on, it really, these tools come in handy. His hemostat tools, because you grab a hold of the wire, and now you can let go of it, and it's not going to fall back in. And so you can use the tool to maneuver the wire to where you need to have it. And that way, because sometimes these wires can be a, a pain to, because they get caught on the bird and everything else. So once you drop the wire into the door, doorway, grab a hold of it with your fingers until you turn it around, then grab a hold of it with this such as what I'm fixing to do with this tool right here. Here, here you see I got the bird, the wire in the doorway. Now I can grab a hold of it with this tool. That way when I put the clock around, it's not going to go back in. And you can always reposition it the way you want to reposition it. Now because I connected that wire to what I believe is the right spot, when I let go of this little man of this wire, I'm going to 
connect the wire that connects to that little man's post a little bit better. Squeeze it in. But when I let go of this wire, you see he goes back in. And so now I have to uh, put the music box back in and figure out how to um, figure out how to get the little man out of the doorway. And once you got the music box in, you just line up the screw holes with this particular clock. And put both screws in. I don't have the chain on the music box yet. Because I don't want it in my way. And that's why it's not on the music box yet. So, how to get the little man out? Let's see which way this thing turns. So he turns this way. Okay, so now I have to make two adjustments. Luckily for me, this two arm post only goes halfway. Um, so on one half the song, It'll trip the little man to go out. And then the other half of the song, it'll trip him to go out. So I have to um, I have to uh, get this wire bent. So it's closer to this lever. And I right, get the music to play and see if this comes up to get the little man to come out. It didn't. And so uh, I don't think it's bent enough
I'm not for sure. I'm at a loss here. Because this is going the wrong way for me. It needs to be pushing down on it. But yet, it's gone the other way. The music has stopped. So, to study on it some more, I'm going to see if I can find one of these clocks, or I'm going to study on it some more, and uh, see what I need to do. I got the music box out, and I want to point something out to you. Um, first of all, I don't know if this section is the right setup. And most music boxes, once you tighten the screw down, it's got a space in between the screw. So I don't think this is the right screw for this setup because once you tighten that screw down you see this doesn't automatically go back down in there so you have to loosen the screw up just a little bit for it to automatically go back down in there which would be okay as long as that screw don't loosen up. Secondly, hopefully you'll be able to see this. You see these three dots or oh, this line of dots on that barrel? That's the end of the song. This can't go any further. Because if it goes any further, I'm going to take it a little bit further. I'll just push this wire out of the way for now. still in my way okay it did do what it needed to do. And so now I need to turn this wire so it hits the blade. to stop it from playing anymore. It was, that was hard to, uh, to get the music to play. And this wire is messing with the fan blade again. 
I think this was monkey rigged. I need something to stop the fan blade. And I see it now. This had a tab on it that would catch the fan blade. And you could see it's broken. Because when it continues to play too much, it's hard to trip the music. Not really for sure what those tabs are on this drum. You'll see it lift up this lever here. But it is interesting. I'll give it that. And I still haven't figured out what this wire here is for. Is it to guide something? I don't know. But we're still playing. Okay. I figured out on this clock. Like I said, when the cuckoo bird cuckoos, the arm of the bird post pushes down on the music lever, which in turn allows the music to play. As you can see, there's this groove here, and when it pushes down on the music box, this groove lines up with the uh, with the movement, and that's supposed to stop it from playing the music all the way because. This lever here is hitting the, the governor fan. And as it's cuckooing, of course it needs to be bent down some. As it's cuckooing, if I can push it down there, that is allowing the cuckoo to play until it comes back and then it releases the governor band from that wire, which allows that wire to spin. The, so, um, but this arm, as it's spinning, opens the the door for the music man. OK, 
okay, but there's a wire that comes off this post here, and I broke it off, trying to adjust it to allow the music to spin. This is the first clock, like I said, that I've seen like this. So, um, I'm going to have to do some more research on this clock. Because, like I said, the cuckoo bird, bird post, is what trips the music box. And that is what fascinated me about this clock. The Popo Cuckoo Clocks, every time the bird goes out the way they're designed, it trips the music. But every other German cuckoo clock, other than this one, which is made by, like I told you, it's a, it's a Herbert Herr one-day movement, but it was uh, sold by the Welby Corporation in the 1950s, 1960s time span. Every other music uh, music box, I don't have to have one, but every other uh, uh, one day or eight day musical cuckoo clock has a lever that comes off the the lift arm here. This one is broken. But that is what trips the music because On the other side of the rack stop lever is the piece that has the wire on it that stops the governor fan from playing in a top mounted music box, of course. But in the side mounted music boxes, um, they, they have levers that come off the back here of the lift arm and the rack stop lever to trip the music. This clock, again, it's tripped, and this is the only one I've ever seen like it, it's tripped by the bird post that the bird sits on. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fix this clock yet until I do some more research on it. I hope you all like this video set. And if and when I finally find another clock like it, that I can figure out how this wire that comes off the... Uh, music man post is designed then I'll do another video showing that to you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and may God bless uh, now don't be discouraged because uh, I'm not done with this clock I will set it to the side, I will sleep on it, I will think about it, I will look at other clocks, and I'll figure it out. It might take me a while, but um, I will figure it out. I hope you enjoyed this video set, and the wire that I broke, it's easily can be fixed by drilling it out and 
putting another wire in. I've done it before. So, um, anyway, um, but that will consist of me taking the movement out, taking that um, music post off that the, uh, the music man sits on and put in it on a flat board and grinding it and drilling it and, and then taking a wire that is this, about the same diameter or a little bit smaller than that hole and then on the end of that wire flatten it out and that way when you pull that wire through that flat end of that wire is what's going to hold that wire in the hole I might have to add a little bit of solder, uh, but it, I've done it before. I can do it. But like I said, um, I'm not done with this clock. I'm fascinated about this clock um, because, the again, the uh, bird post is what trips the cuckoo. Sorry, the, that trips the music. The bird post slides along the music trip lever and pushes it down so the pen can come out of that hole and as it's cuckooing the music isn't playing until the uh, cuckoo is done comes back in and allows that trip lever to raise up a little bit to allow that wire that the governor that is stopping the governor fan to be moved and that way the governor fan can spin but anyway um keep watching um uh, i know what i want to do next but it's just a matter of uh how i feel so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like, the notification. Leave me some comments. Maybe one of you have the exact same clock. If you do, find me on Facebook. If you're not uh, one of my two groups that I'm the admin for, my profile picture is me hugging a fake bear. So, uh currently i change it ever so often but anyway um find me on facebook uh, send me a video pictures of your clock that is built the exact same way so i can see how it is supposed to be anyway may god bless each and every one of you and I forgot to mention, I'm wearing one of Seth's Link Felter's Cuckoo Clock Design T-shirts. He is the person that designed this shirt. Not somebody who claims that they have an autistic child. They are stealing his designs. He is the one that has designed my other shirts that uh, for my clock and the, for my shirt, it says, not for sale, it's my children's inheritance. But for my children's shirts, it says, not for sale, it's my inheritance. But I'm working on a, another clock I want him to design me some shirts for. Seth has a bunch of uh, YouTube videos out there. They're professionally uh, YouTube uh, videos. He gives you some history on clocks. He's got one of the, uh, the East Meckenbecker Woodsman's Clock. And he also has the East Meckenbecker uh, Church Clock. Very professional videos. I will leave a link to his channel at the end of this video. Please check it out and hit the subscribe button. 
on his channel. May God bless each and every one of you.